Okay, um, this is going to be a real quick unboxing. Um, this is the board game Walk Home Run by Decision Games. It's the 2012 version and it just arrived today at my doorstep. For, provided by the uh, friendly United States Postal Service. Really nice cover. Take a look at the back side here real quick. Let's see. Clear down. We just have some of your um, oh, just some of your text describing the contents in the game. Also have a picture of the counters on the map. And the difficulty scale of the game. Solitaire suitability and stuff like that. Pretty much your conventional back of the box. Alright. This comes in their large, large scale box, of course. Um, along with other games like Storm of Steel and. Uh, uh, I think they're. And they're war in Europe and other games like that. So let's go ahead and take the top off of this thing. Let's see what we get inside. Looks like we get a shrink wrap package of rules and counters. I'll have to open those up here in a minute. Um, looks like we get uh, your baggies. Inside of dies. It's going to be a little bit smaller than uh, normal, but that's great. I like them that way. And then it looks like we just got a box full of maps. Get them out of here. Let's see here. What we got? How clear that is. But it kind of gives you some examples of play. On the other side, looks like we have a train effects chart. If I can get too much of a detail of the actual maps themselves, but fairly close. Gives you kind of an example of some of the train anyway. Another one of the maps. Anyway, they're nice and thick and heavy. And let's see. Looks like these are just charts. Here, yeah, that was a chart. Train effects. This is part of the Grand Operational Series. So if we get two of these, bring on heavy car stock. And let's see about the maps. I want all you can see here, but. One full size, two full size, and it looks like yeah, another two full size maps. So, anyway, it has some interesting terrain on it. So, anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, break out the uh, counters and show you what they look like. All right, here we are after I've taken the shrink wrap off of the um, rules and scenarios and counters, which I like that idea very much, the um, shrink wrapping of uh, all the loose components like that. It keeps them nice and clean and fresh. And you don't get a box full of beat up stuff. So this is the scenario booklet. It's not gonna mean very much at the moment. It's uh, black and white on a glossy paper. Uh, looks like it's very clear and well laid out. And then, looks like the master rules for the Grand Operational Simulation Series. Uh, several pages of, uh, uh, of the index. And then 
we just start digging into the uh, meat of the rules here? I don't know how clear this is, and I apologize. It's got quite a few rules. And it looks like a lot of them are all in this one booklet. I have had some uh, Decision Games products where they divide the rulebook up into two or three different rulebooks, and then you're just kind of wandering around trying to find things. Looks like it comes with a um, kind of a designer's notes kind of thing. Hitler's Ardennes Offensive, and it kind of gives you a historical account of the battle with some very nice looking maps. Well, you can see those. Uh, overall, it's really nice. Glossy paper, color, and it's like we have the GOSS Transport and Logistics Movement Tables and Unit Replacements. Kind of tells you what the different symbols on the counters mean. Let's see, we have a full color, uh, looks like a game turn track, of some sort. Oh, yes. Turn record track. It's really nice. And here's one uh, for the Germans. Hello, Muskman for the Ally. Very nice. And we have some player aid cards. This is for the German player. And we have uh, army record tracks. And then we have a nice unit type chart, which is kind of like a colorized version of that one I showed you a moment ago. Um, pretty much explains all the uh, symbology and stuff on the unit counters. Alright, very, very nice. And then we have the counter sheets. Let's see if I can see here. It tells me which one is which. Yeah, counter sheet number one. So. These are the counters. Halfway decent close up here, just a moment. How clear that is, but they're uh, very well centered. They're glossy on a white uh, cardstock of some sort. Uh, this is counter sheet two, more Americans, counter sheet three, more Americans, and a few odd ones there. This looks like it has the British, and some markers. It looks like it has some SS troops, some more SS, and the German, regular army. More well, the regular army, it looks like maybe some of the Luf. Luftwaffe ground troops, some more markers, some more German units, and then a sheet full of just markers. So, that uh, pretty much sums up the uh, contents of the box, and uh, in a way it looks like a very nice production by Decision Games, and uh, that's about it. Can't wait to go through the rules and see how it plays. So, anyway, thank you for your time. Talk to you later.